Hi there, this is Richard Galvan, Product Manager with Flash Professional here at Adobe with another installment of our Sneak Peek series. Over the last couple of sneaks, we've been kind of hinting at some of the capabilities or features the team's been working on to try to make it easier to uh, kind of publish to multiple screen sizes or multiple devices. Now, one of the things we see happening is people wanting to take existing content and repurposing that content for different sizes or different screens. So, for example, if I wanted to take an asset or a project like the one I'm going to open here, which is originally set up to be a 320 by 480 screen size, what if I wanted to take this and actually make it useful in a 480 by 800 uh, kind of screen size device, or maybe even a 600 by 1024? Now, the complexity we're doing this is that it's not as simple as just scaling one object on the stage, because this project consists of many frames, and those frames consist of nests and movie clips. So how can we make this easier? Well, one of the things we're thinking about is, what if we can actually go into the document settings panel, and when you go in there and resize the stage, for example, in this case, I'm going from 320 by 480. Let's say I want to go to a 600 by 1024 screen size. And, uh, what if we had a checkbox that allowed you to kind of set kind of the preference that says scale content with stage? Let's click OK here, and you'll see what it does. Not only did it scale my stage, but it went actually through the entire nesting of all the objects on the stage and actually scaled those as well. So now you will see, if I go in and uh, zoom out here, that I actually have a new stage size, 600 by 1024, um, but we've also scaled all the content for that project across all the different frames. So once again, ideas here to try to make it easier for people to take existing content and repurpose it for a variety of different screen sizes across a variety of different devices. Thank you and stay tuned for our next sneak.